before we start, I'm just going to let you know that you have access to this link to see all the stuff that I am teaching you guys in this course. And also, you have access to my Pinterest account, which is the Mid Journey Prompt, Photographers, Artist Style, Artist, Photography, Lighting, and everything you want to see in the prompt, it's here. If you click on the Photographers, you can use the Photographer's name, which I will be explaining in the course. Also, you have access to these images. We are using these ones as a reference image to get a lot of cool stuff in our prompts. You also have access to the portrait photography formula, which I will be explaining in this course. first lesson, you will discover the art of creating stunning images using my unique prompt formatting and formula, which I will guide you through. We'll practice together until you become a master at crafting your own prompts. Additionally, you will have access to my best mid-journey prompt collections to enhance your creative process. At the end of each lesson, you'll have exciting projects to complete. To ensure you are on the right track, I will provide the prompts for you as well. In the next lesson, we'll explore when and where to use specific cameras and lenses for various scenarios. You will witness the transformation of your images by employing the right camera and lenses combinations for the best results. In lesson 4, you will learn how to place your image in different styles and locations. We'll explore techniques for capturing images in a studio environment with specific lighting setups and using the right camera lenses. You'll also learn how to incorporate your image into different contexts, such as wearing a suit or riding a bicycle. Moreover, I will teach you the best lighting techniques for studio portrait photography. You will discover the power of catch light and butterfly lighting in the mid journey prompts, and I will share techniques to ensure you achieve the desired effect. We'll explore various lighting setups including Rembrandt lighting, clamshell lighting, split lighting, broad lighting, short lighting, and so more. The following lesson will unveil the secret of creating extraordinary prompts using the ChatGPT and Bar Google formula. Through this formula, you will learn how to capture intricate details and create stunning photographs. Now let's delve into the captivating world of couple and pre-wedding photography. These techniques will empower you to capture remarkable images that convey the essence of love and connections. Next, we'll explore the secret of street photography, where simple word changes can lead to astonishing outcomes. You will also master problem-solving techniques in Mijeni, which is very important, ensuring you achieve the desired color and style for your photography. Now prepare to be amazed as I reveal the best tips and tricks to inspire your prompt creation. By incorporating these techniques, you'll have the power to craft truly breathtaking images. We'll then dive into fine art and artistic photography, where your creativity knows no bounds. I will also share some of my best inspiring prompts, giving you the fuel to create your own captivating images. Alright, now it's time to embark on this incredible journey. Let's get it started and unleash your full creative potential. Let's understand a photograph. What is lighting in the photo? What is the camera? What is the angle? Imagine we want to create this image. Let's try it. Just take a look at this. The lighting, the camera angle, the scenery. So basically, this is what most people prompt in Mijeli, a woman in the street cinematic. Let's try this in Mijeli. Before we try this prompt, let's make sure we are in the same setting. So I'm in MJ version 5.1, which is the best version right now. I am not in the raw mode, style medium, public mode, fast mode, and remix mode. So we are should be in the same page. Let's try this prompt. Slash forward, you already know that. Imagine, I'm just going to click on this and type this prompt. 
the woman in Street Cinematic dash dash AR 16 by the night. Let's see what we get. Press enter. So this is what we get. And take a look at this image and this image. It's not what we wanted. She has a blonde hair. The angle of the camera should be a bit down, which is the low angle. Sunglasses. Even the street. This is snowy. This is not look like the same. So how we can create the same image? I have created a formula for you guys. Let's see this one. So basically, this is not what we wanted, right? Take a look at this one. I put the sample image here, and this is the Mid Journey Portrait Photography formula, which I have created for you guys. Let's go one by one. The first one is the subject. What is this subject? It's a woman. That's it. It's not walking, just a woman. What is the film style? The film style is like Cora Gold 400. If you want something goldish, something bright, you go for Kodak Gold 400. Portra 400, Fuji Film Pro 160C. These are some film type style that gives you an image, a very photorealistic look. Now, what is the camera angle? Here I see, maybe the camera is around here. I'm just going to call it eye level shot. So, let's take a look. Eye level shot, low angle shot. High angle shots, extreme low angle shot, extreme high angle, side angle, shot from behind, close up shot, or extreme close up shot. There's a lot of stuff, the GoPro style, webcam style, underwater style. Then we go for lighting. So for now, I have a woman, which is the subject, the film type, I put it on Cora Gold 400. What is the camera angle? I'm just going to call it eye level shot. What is the lighting? We have basically natural lighting or we can be more specific like sunny, partial cloudy, rainy, snowy, overcast, foggy, hazy, sunrise, morning, golden hour, sunset, twilight, night or studio lighting. For studio light, we have catch light, butterfly lighting. These are very specific lighting, but I will explain how to use them because Mijani doesn't understand what is butterfly lighting. I will exactly explain how to create this kind of stuff. So for now, I'm just going to put natural lighting. That's it. Number five, ambience styling. We have dark and moody, bright and vibrant, fantasy, historical, adventure, action, documentary, honor, mystical, romance, rustic, and street. For now, I'm just going to put street style. What about the location? We have in New York. I'm just going to put in New York. Central Park. Ancient Egypt, Eiffel Tower, Gravel of China, Kremlin, and so on. We also have photographer's name. We can put photography by someone. And how to find out who is that someone? For now, I'm just going to put the first one, Annie Lubavitz. Why I put that random photographer to show exactly what is the difference between photographers. Number eight is camera and lenses. We can put shots by or taken with a Ari Alexa LF camera with Ari Signature Prime Lens 12mm and the aperture is 1.8. This is the best camera for cinematic look. And we have also Red Ranger Monster, Sony, and also Hasselblad. I just put these three. I have exactly a list of camera which I will give you guys. For now, I'm just going to put shot by Ari Alexa. Number 9 is fine tuning. You can put cinematic, photorealistic, 8K or whatever you like at the end of your prompt. For now, I'm just going to put 4K and cinematic. And this is the size, line 16 for now. Let's see what we get, guys. Let's try this. So if I use this prompt, I will get something like this, guys, which is not what we wanted. Why? Because this is not the photographer's style that we choose. How to find the right photographers Based on an image that you like, I'm just going to show you right now. If you come to pinterest.com dash art, you have access to all of my collections here, guys. If you click on Mijeni, you come to this page. Art Mijeni dash prompt, it's the proper link. The first one is the photographers. If you click on that, you're just going to come to this page. I like this kind of look. Let's try Mariano Buonco. So, we didn't like this one, let's try this one. 
photograph by Mariano Vivanco. Let's see what it gets. If we try the same prompt, just change the photographer, I'm just going to get something like this. Let's see it here. And it's very, very close, especially this one. I really loving it. Now, let's try a different photographer to get better result. Now, let's try Tommy Town, which is, has this kind of a style. This is Tommy Town version 5, and this is Tommy Town version 4. Let's try it. This is Tommy Town, right? I love the kind of look that we get in this image. So let's go back and change the photographer to Tommy Town. So this was Mariano Uvanko, and this is going to be photographed by Tommy Town. So if we change the photographer to Tommy Tan, we did exactly what we wanted, right? So let's see. Wow. This is so cool. So by changing just the photographer, we can get exactly what we wanted, right? So make sure go through my collections to find out what is the best look is best for you. Now let's try another one. This is what we want. The prompt most people do is going to be look like this. A beautiful black haired woman, pale skin, which is kind of a bright skin, hazel eyes, sunny day, and cinematic. Let's try this and see what we get. So if we try this, we will get something like this, guys. Beautiful black haired woman. But this hair, I don't know, it's black or not. I'm just going to tell you a secret. Let's put it this way. A beautiful back hair woman, pale skin, hazel eyes. I'm just gonna put the same Kodak Gold 400. A close up shot, and this is the trick. We use golden hour. If you have a black hair, and we use this prompt, this word golden hour, you will get this kind of look. It's morning. I'm just gonna put dreamy look. Let's go step by step, right? Dreamy look, and this time. Photography by Mario Testino. How I chose this one, I'm just going to show you. Here, in my photography collection, I have Mario Testino. And I love his style. It's very sharp, very colorish. It has a very good color combination. Now, let's go back here. I chose the camera again, the Ari Alexa, which is the best cinematic camera, guys. Which I use it most of the time. Cinematic 8K and 916 which is the size let's see what we get wow this is what we get guys i'm just gonna upscale the u2 u3 and u4 which i love them and also re-roll this it means try again to get more options to get more variables so this is the upscale version of it and if we re-roll that we'll get something like this i love number four which I put it here. So these are exactly what we wanted. And take a look, it's totally the same, right? So this is the importance of choosing the right photographer. So the tips was choosing the right photographers. Now let's try one more time. This is what we want. A very close-up image. Let's try this. A close-up beautiful young woman, a stunning, hazel eyes. If you want freckles, you put delicacy, remember that. Photography by Julia Heta. Why? Let me show you. So this is the photography collection. Let's come down. Laura Jade was cool, we could use it. And I love this one because it has freckles. I know this is her style of photography. So I'm just gonna use Julia Heta. I'm just gonna copy this. Go back here and paste it. So, photography by Julia Heta. For now, I'm just going to put shots on Hasselblad. Hasselblad, it works specifically for a close-up or very high contrast, high quality photo or product photography. So, I'm just going to use the Hasselblad. Realistic skin. If you want to get this kind of lighting, you put global illuminations, natural features, and at the end, I'm just going to put dash dash style raw, which basically you don't need to put it in the raw mode in the setting. Just put dash dash style raw to get very sharp and not artistic photo. 
let's try this. If you put this prompt in mid-journey, you will get something like this. I like number one and three. So let's upscale them. So we will get these two beautiful images. Let's see them here. It's very close, right? What if I want it to be closer? Just put the extreme before the close up. Let's see. If I put the extreme just before the close up of a beautiful young woman, let's see what we get. Wow, we will get something like this, guys. So this is extreme close up. I like number one, number three. Let's upscale them to see what we get. So let's take a look here. I don't have a word for it. It's beautiful and I love it, guys. I love me, Jenny. Now, you have some project to do, guys. This is going to be your project one. Write a prompt for this image. Do not use linked images. All right. Let's try and come up with an idea. After that, you can see the prompt. For now, it's blacked out and you can just click on it. And I'm just going to show you how. You have access to all of this, guys. So just come here, click on this. And here you see, this is the highlight, the color. If you come here and you make this white, you can see the prompts. But before that, make sure you create this yourself. Now, this is going to be your project too. Write a prompt to get an image like this. After that, you can come here and see this prompt. But promise me, create this yourself. It's very important to come to this list, try to think as a photographer. The lighting, the color of the eyes, the days, the scenery, the moody style, everything that I taught you. I promise you, we can create this. What are the best cameras and lenses for photography? I have created this list for you guys. Camera and lenses for me, Jenny. So these are the best cameras for me. Ori Alexa, Red Ranger, Sony, and Hasselblad use the exact same prompts. But we have also camera angle and shot type. If you want to create eye level photo shoots, use Sony Alpha A7. Use this prompt. Low angle shot, this one. So let me explain these two so you guys understand what is the difference. When you take a photo eye level shot, you want your image to be sharp. That's why the aperture is 4. The higher the number, you have more sharpness of your image. The lower the number, you have a better depth of field in your photograph. If you want a low angle shot, better depth of field, put 2.8. Sony Alpha, the 2.8. High angle shot, Nikon D850 is the best one. Extreme low angle shot, this camera. Extreme high angle shot, side angle or side view, shot from behind, Close-up shot, Canon 50mm is the best. Medium shot, full shot, extreme close-up shot. So look at your image, see what you like, come here and pick up the camera and lenses. Ground level, webcam style, or one of the best one is the aerial shot, bird's eye view. DJI Phantom 4 Pro drone camera is going to give you an amazing result for this kind of shoot. Webcam style, GoPro style, underwater. I don't want a close up shot. Now, let's go to the lighting. If I want to take a photo in a sunny day, you should try this Canon camera. Partially cloudy, rainy, snowy, overcast, foggy, and hazy. So, for each scenario, you have a better camera, or you can just use these four cameras. So, most of the time, it's going to give you amazing results. Trust me. Now, let's try to create this image. So this is going to be eye level shot. Let's go up and see eye level shot Sony Alpha A7 F4, which is the aperture. So I'm just going to go back. A cold miner photo, working deep in mine. Portra 400, which is very good in black and white. Sony Alpha A7, the same camera. And this is very, very important, guys. Photography by SDF McCurry. If you use 2C here, which is the real name of Steve McCurry, the mid is give you false error. So that's why I put it in 1C to don't get banned in mid -journey. Make sure you put the hyper-realistic photo, black and white, and close-up. Let's try the same prompt in mid -journey. Wow. 
we are going to get this kind of image. And let's see here. They are beautiful. Remember, if you don't want to get this harsh lighting here, make sure to put it on Ari Alexa or cinematic look cameras. So basically, DSLRs is giving you this kind of look, guys. Sometimes it's very sharp. So if you want a gradual, very moody, make sure you add some moody here. And if you don't want to get this kind of bright lighting on the face, make sure you use Ari Alexa camera and the film style should be cut a gold for 100. Your image in different style and location with image link. Imagine you like this image, you have the reference link, and instead of going to the studio and take this kind of shot, you want to create the same image in Mijeri. Now, let's try this one. If I put this image and I put portrait of a woman photography by Yusuf Karsh, black and white, dark background, and 9 by 16, let's see what we get. And why Yusuf Karash, you already know. If you go to my photography collection, you can choose what kind of a style you like. Me, for example, I like this one, Yusuf Karash. I'm just going to try this one. Or George Harold. I want to get a beautiful lighting. So if you try this, you want to get this image. Which I like all of them. Let's see them side by side. They are beautiful. Well, I like this image, but I want the color of the shirt or skirt to be white. How can I do that? Let's see in this prompt. Portrait of a woman photography by Yusuf Karash. Black and white, white skirt is going to give me this beautiful image, which is fantastic. But still, it's not look like mine. Now, this is the trick. You have a linked image. You have your photograph. Just put it here. Same prompt. Portrait of a woman, photography by Yusuf Karsh, black and white, dark background. Even though my shirt is white, I'm just going to try this. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Let's see it here. Wow, this is fantastic, guys. It's beautiful. It exactly looks like mine. If you are using version 5.1, you're going to get this kind of image, guys. Now, you want your image with different suit, maybe a business suit. Let's see what we get. So I'm saying this image in business suit, high quality, high definition, 8K, intricate, it means more detail, realistic, professional photo taken by Canon R5 because I want a headshot. And let's see what we get. Wow, it's funny. So here's the tip. Mijini doesn't understand what is this it's a male or female so always specify to get something like this if you just put the lady in business suit you will get something like this let's see the imagery so the same prompt just put lady and you will get something like this guys in the next lesson we're just gonna get this kind of image guys trust me after learning how to use my formula in ChatGPT or Bart Google, you can create any kind of amazing photograph based on your image. For your project, use one of these images. If you're a boy, use this image. If you are a girl, use this image and create a portrait of yourself. Let's learn one of the best lighting techniques in photography and how to use them in Mijene. The first one is the catch light. What is catch light? Catch lights are the highlights in the model's eyes and this is the reflection of the light. So basically in the studio it's going to be soft box, light box and so on. What is butterfly lighting? This technique is named for a distinctive shape of the shadows it creates under the nose guys. Butterfly lighting is a favorite among portrait lighting setup because it's flattering for most faces. It's emphasized the jawline and the cheekbone, guys. How we can get butterfly lighting in our image? Try this Italian model, close-up mouth, mesmerizing, detailed by Laura Jade. 
which is the photographer or photography by Lara Jade shot taken with Sony A7 and this is the camera lens dash dash the style raw let's see what we get this is what we get but this is not what we wanted we wanted something like this which is butterfly lighting so how we can create this we only can create it by the link image in mid journey if you just put butterfly lighting in mid journey prompt nothing gonna happen but with these reference images or you can find by your own this is just four which is work perfectly and put it here for example the first one the italian model close-up you're gonna get something like this which is beautiful just take a look at this one we use the reference image italian model why we put italian model and remember this by changing the country you can get different look for your image guys catch light you see the catch light and this is exactly what we are looking for in case of lighting guys now for your project use the same prompt here put this image link or any of these then put your image link your own image or an image that you like to create this kind of lighting now the next lighting is Rembrandt lighting what is the lighting setup it's one light and one reflector or two separated light because it's create very dramatic and natural look image it's predominantly characterized by a lit up triangle as you see here underneath the subject's eyes and the less illuminated area on the face which is the dark side of the face and it gives you this beautiful image how we can create it put the sample image put the country that you are in like if you are in africa put an african model malaysian model european canadian american it's just going to give you a different look based on the country guys so if i put italian i'm going to get something like this but if i change this to american blonde model what are i going to get let's see we are going to get something like this guys let's see here which is beautiful american blonde model now fill the blank here what is this girl is look like she's look like just think about it for a minute i give you 10 seconds to think about it the scandinavian models are look like these guys so by changing the country the region or the style and the most importantly the photographer's name you will get different results in looks and appearance and you definitely can get different results we also have clamshell lighting which exactly look like butterfly lighting but with the reflector so this is just different name for butterfly lighting because it's different in setup we also have a split lighting so basically you don't see half of the face these are a split lighting images that you can use these links and put it in your prompt you also have access to this link which is the pinterest split lighting photography collections now imagine i like this image i use it as a prompt blonde model close-up mesmerizing detail photography by laura jade camera and lenses let's see what we get now imagine i love this kind of photograph which is kind of a split lighting but very artistic i use the prompt and I specifically this time i want to make it a blonde model which is i don't want to make it black and white when i say blonde model it's going to be colorful image and let's see what we get and this is what we get it's not very colorful we call this monochromatic because the reference image is black and white that's why when you put a blonde model you want to make it blonde but just one color and this is beautiful guys but changing the country changing the color you can get different results for your assignment change the reference image and model characteristic to see the results so basically you like this kind of image you go through this pinterest collections let me just open that up maybe for example you like this one you right click you copy image address you come back here you put it here and model characteristic what is going to be look like 
you explain maybe as a hazel eyes maybe blonde hair maybe some freckles on the face so you decide then share your photograph i want to see what it's going to be look like we also have loop lighting guys and as you see here it creates a very small shadow of subject nose on the cheeks and also my favorite lighting which is rim lighting as you see here rim lighting is mostly about highlights with rim lighting most of the face is in shadow but there is a narrow rim of light on one side of the subject's face for your project 5 find an image that has an amazing rim light and use this image link address to create a beautiful female or male with a cool hat in the photography studio and make sure to upload your images so i can give you feedbacks we also have broad lighting and short lighting in broad lighting we use a very big large softbox it's like a natural lighting in the studio short lighting puts the side of the face turned towards the camera more than the shadow so in short lighting you see mostly the shadow of the face and the bright side is the opposite of the camera we also have on the lighting which is basically for scary movies and we also have the back lighting which is more artistic in photography for your project six find an image that has an amazing backlighting and use its image link to create a walking lady with umbrella under the rain in new york street before i give you the chat gpt or bar google ai formula Let's see some of the prompts made by our formula in ChatGPT and Bar. So this prompt is made by ChatGPT. Beautiful white woman in the snow smiling. So this is the result. Beautiful all white woman with emotive eyes and very snowy hair, wearing blue shiny outfit, smiling with the joy on a blue ice glazer during a blowout snowstorm high key all blue photorealistic intricate details this is the prompt that chat gpt is giving me and i added this yellow part in the middle i added the camera and lenses i also added the hdr for high dynamic range and chaos too so it's less than 100 to be very raw realistic and i got this image guys which is beautiful let's try something else and this is also the result of the chat GPT formula. I combine the three photographers name to get exactly what I was looking for. So how do we get these amazing prompts? And here is the formula. Create an image prompt with the word count limit of 200 words for the AI based text to image program Midjourney using the following parameters. We have two array number one, and number two in number one in this prompt should be replaced with the user supplied concept and number two should be a concise descriptive summary of a subject ensure that the description is detailed use the descriptive adjectives and verbs a diverse vocabulary and sensory language offer context and background information regarding the subject and consider the images perspective and point of view Use metaphors and smiles only when necessary to clearly explain abstract or complex ideas. Use concrete nouns and active verbs to make the descriptions more specific and lively. Ensure that the grammar is consistent and avoid using cliché or access words. Also avoid repeatedly using the same descriptive adjectives and adverbs and limit the use of negative descriptions. Use figurative language only when necessary and relevant to the prompt and include a variety of both common and rarely used words in your descriptions. Descriptions in the prompt must be written together, separated only by commas and spaces, and should not contain any line breaks or columns or brackets, and their contents should not be included. And the prompt should always start with dash imagine prompt. The imagine prompt must not exceed 200 words. Do not use double quotation marks 
or punctuation marks brackets and wait for a concept to be provided before generating the prompt so let me show you what to do if you copy all of this and let's go to chat.openai.com which is the chat gpt i'm just going to paste it here and enter i'm just going to do the same in board.google.com just paste your prompt here and enter and wait for it let's go back here and let's come up with this idea for example beautiful white woman in this snow smiling if I come to ChatGPT, I put concept, colon, space, and control V, press enter. And it's going to give me this prompt. Let's try the same thing. Concept, colon, and bark, and wait for the results. This is going to be the chat GPT result, guys. I'm just going to copy this. So let's put it here. I'm just going to click here and paste the prompt here. With Control Shift V, you can copy the prompt here. I want to make it a bit smaller. I'm looking for my favorite camera and lens. The lens go back. So I'm just going to throw this, wait for, I'm just going to remove it, beautiful white woman with rusty cheek and sparkling eyes. I'm just going to put it here. I want to look for my photographer's name. I'm just going to put Tommy Tan. I'm just going to copy this. Go back here, paste it, a comma, comma, space. What else can we put at the end? Let's see. Let's put this one. Photorealistic. Also, let's try this in mid journey. And let's see what we get. But before that, I'm just going to put the camera angle as well. No angle. And I'm just going to copy this. Slash forward. Imagine. Control V. And let's see what we get. Meanwhile, let's go to Bart. Now, this is the prompt Bart is giving us. And somehow is more accurate because our prompt is woman, which is plural. That's why it says a group of beautiful white women. So let's try this uh, woman and change this to A. Let's see what we get. So this is very interesting. The chat GPT doesn't understand the woman. And it gives me one single person but the bard i think a beautiful white woman is smiling now this is what he wanted which is amazing and i can also get this one go to let's go here paste this and let's go through the wordings i'm just gonna Connect this to this one. Beautiful woman. Until here, then I'm just gonna use the same camera and photographer. Maybe this. Then continue. Space, no space, no space. And also, let's use the same wording here at the end. And let's see what we get. I'm just going to copy this. Come here. Control V. Enter. 
and let's see what we get and this is chat gpt prompting guys let's go bring it here wow look at the depths i'm just gonna copy this or instead of copying that i like the number four the number two i'm just gonna upscale this too i love it i love getting different results and different prompting copy this and i'm going to this was the chat gpt version just gonna put it here let's go to so this one beautiful guys copy i'm just gonna paste it here so you decide which one you like it's gonna make some space let's go back let's see the result of the board ai which is very interesting smiling snowy and let's decide which one is the best this is more close up this is more medium shot we said low angle so both of them are kind of an eye level they didn't understand the low angle shots but it still is a low angle kind of this one especially i love both of them so basically see which one you like we also can go through these wordings and change some of them to get exactly what we are looking for guys so you don't need to stick to whatever chat gpt or bard is giving you you can go through them you can change it you can ask for a different prompt different ideas and get exactly what you're looking for then come here add your camera lenses lighting photographers and some of the more wordings and trust me with this technique you can get exactly what you can for now let's try this concept portrait of a brown skin woman sunny day brown eyes let's put on chat gpt and bart so chat gpt is going to give me this and i'm going to put it on here but i just add the aria alexa the camera and the lenses by the portrait by three photographers to make sure I get exactly what I want. At the end, I put 32K UHD for the realistic, delicate texture, dash dash, AR 2x3, and a style 750. And let's see what we get. And we get something like this. So basically, our formula in ChatGPT is giving us more close up look image. Let's try the BART. The BART is giving me this prompt. Let's copy this and put it here. And also add the same camera and lenses and photographers and some fine tuning. Let's put this in my journey. So the prompt that we created in Bard Google is give me more medium and more storytelling photography. And I like number one and number four. Let's see it here, side by side, which is beautiful. I love it. If you want a more storytelling prompt, go to Bard. If you want a more close up, go to chat GPT, guys. Let's try another one. This is the concept. A carefree, beautiful woman riding a bicycle in a city with brown hair and wearing a vintage dress. Golden hour sunrise in the style of Elisabetta Pordina. So the chat GPT is giving us this prompt, which again, we added the camera and the lenses. And this is very, very important award-winning photography advertising photography high quality high resolution a style 1000 and chaos 25 let's see what kind of result we get for chat gpt prompt so this is the result we get for chat gpt prompt they said here side by side i love it it's beautiful let's see what is bard is doing in bard we got this prompt which is this one we added the camera lenses, award-winning photography, advertising photography, high quality, high resolution. Let's see what we get. Wow, and this is what we get if we put this prompt here based on Bart Google. I love number four and number three. These two are beautiful. Let's see here. 
they are amazing i love this one and also this one i also tried some different prompts and i got something like this as well which you have the prompt here now let's use our reference image it can be your photograph with the same prompt that we got in chat gpt let's see what we get we're gonna get something like this but it's not riding a bicycle and it's not what we wanted actually so how can we get that it's very simple guys by adding another reference image this is what i got without using these links just with the prompt now i combine these two this link my image and the same prompt i'm not gonna get something like this guys let's see it in mijeni and here is the result in mijeni i love number one two and four and that's why you get this one and for your project use your image and combine it with another image that you got from me Jenny, with the help of chat gpt and board formula which means first create this concept a man or a woman walking in new york city street in a sunny day when you got this result with bart formula and chat gpt formula then combine that photos with your image to get something like this guys all right that's gonna be your project so make sure to upload it so i can give you some feedbacks couple and pre-wedding photography all right let's try this prompt a couple embrace she's disappointed and stares off into the middle distance pensive distracted brunette plates in the style of picky blinders high contrast sharp focus pixel sharpening in a style of a movie is gonna help us to create something very specific now let's try this we have two image a male and a female and they want to get married so you can put your image you and your girlfriend or fiance or wife husband drag and drop your image to me journey get the link and copy it let's try this so if we try this prompt we will get something like this how cool is that we just by adding the style of a movie which here is picky blinder we get a very stylish couple or pre-wedding photography you can see it side by side which is a very cool very interesting very similar now this is the way you can create a better result take a photo of yourself in different angle and your fiance in different angle as well and drag and drop them to me jenny and just put couple embrace the street photography and let's see what you get you have the images here i'm just going to click here hold on shift and select all of this then i'm going to me jenny i'm just going to drag all of this and drop this here and i'm just going to press enter what you have to do is just right click and copy the link and that's it then you have one two three four five six seven image link just put couple embrace a street photography and if we put it in this mid journey we're gonna get something like this and it's very similar to our images because mid journey understand all of our poses and it tried to come up with a better result in the prompt now let's try couple embrace in the style of picky blinders with these images and let's see what we get we get something like this which is very very cool guys now let's try something else so in a style of something is a very important if you want something specific now let's try a photography by george harrell so george harrell is a famous photographer for very bright light and studio lighting and if you do that you're gonna get something like this guys and try this one as well guys couple embrace golden hour light golden hour light is just gonna give you a very romantic scene for photography let's try this a couple embrace in wedding dress and she's happy if i put this in chat gpt i will get something like this guys and i put in the middle my camera and lenses and at the end evening photography if i put this in mid journey guys i will get something like this this one and this one they are not bad but these two are very weird 
it's like Midgenia thinks we are trying to combine these two images, which we are not. And this is in Bard Google, the result, the same prompt. I put it in Bard Google and I got something like this. And the result is even funnier. And this is not what we are looking for. How to fix the problem? How to get exactly what we are looking for? It's very simple, guys. The same prompt, just make sure use a reference image that you like. We just use this reference image link and let's see what we get. We are going to get something very cool. This is just with my first try. So if you try more and change some wordings, you will get definitely better results. Now let's try this one. This is Bard Google and I love this one. These two images is giving me these images and I still this is my first try. So if you go to the wordings and change something about your face and just put some comment about your look, you definitely will get different results and I think this is perfect. For your project, take a photo of yourself and your girl or boyfriend in different angles and write a prompt about your wedding dress and locations with the help of ChatGPT and Bart Formula. Make sure to upload your images so I can give you some feedback. Portrait street photography. All right, let's try this. A woman caught a gold 400, natural lighting, close up, street style, dreamy, New York 4K, fine grain. And let's see what we get. We're gonna get something like this. The problem is, this is very random. I don't know what I'm looking for. What if I put a specific photographer to just do this prompt? The same prompt I just added by Mario Testino. And let's see what we get. So you get the point. By adding a photographer, you get amazing results. Now, let's try something else. The same prompt by different photographer, Sebastia Salgoda. And let's see what we get. And how beautiful is that? And look at the differences. Just by changing the photographer's name, I'm getting different results. What if I want a medium shot? If I just change this close-up to medium shot, what's going to happen? Same photographer, just the medium shot. And this is going to be look like. And this is going to be the result just by changing the close-up shot to medium shot. Now, let's fix some problems. What is the problem? Let's try this prompt. A street style, center the straight shot, photo shot on Afka Vista 400 of a woman. Dressed in Gucci, wearing a yellow turtleneck and a blue peacoat, natural lighting. All right, let's see what we get. And remember, I said wearing a yellow turtleneck and a blue peacoat, but this is the opposite. The peacoat is yellow, the turtleneck is blue. It's totally opposite. So how to fix it? I have tried so many things and I still I couldn't do it. I couldn't fix it. I said wearing a yellow turtleneck is yellow. So I specified the yellow again. And I said peacoat is blue. And I still like this. The same thing. I put it in double stars. But in the middle. And I got this. But what I said wearing blue peacoat. Two commas between double stars. I got what I was looking for. And I kept the two commas between the words for the weight. So, Michini thinks this is a group. I have to do it. So, this is one of the tricks you can use when you want something that Michini doesn't give you. Make sure you put in the two stars and also two columns. Let's try something else. Wearing a slim fitting burn orange peacoat and black turtleneck. I got it here, but when I put a wearing a slim fitting burn orange peacoat and a black turtleneck, I got something like this. It still didn't work out. But when I specified it, wearing a black turtleneck, two commas, a slim fitting burn orange peacoat, and all of them between two stars, I got what I wanted. So these are some tips and tricks you can use in your prompt to get exactly what you're looking for, guys. And trust me, 
I spend a lot of time to get the idea and understand how the mid-journey prompt works so you guys can easily use this prompt method to get what you want. For your project, try to get the exact dress color in this prompt, wearing a black turtleneck and an orange peacock. Put this prompt in ChatGPT and Borg to get a better result in your outcome. Now I'm gonna give you some amazing tips, guys. For example, look at this prompt. Wearing pearl necklace, column, column, five. So the weight is very important. Next to the window, beautiful girl, taken by this camera lenses, dreamy, in a style of Roger Deakins. Roger Deakins is a famous director in cinema. And it's famous for photography, lighting, and photo cinematic style. So I added his name. I also love the sense of sensibility movie, a style of photography. I also love Mary Bill painting. So I have added three different styles to my prompt. I want to see what I get. And now take a look, guys. These styles is giving me this beautiful image. So by combining different styles, you can get an amazing result, guys. Let's try something else. A beautiful blonde woman in a red gown posing on the red rose garden. I have specified anything that is important to me between two stars and I get something like this. If you want to be more specific, let's try this. A beautiful blonde woman in a red gown posing on the red rose and if you add this to ChatGPT or Bart Google, you will get something like this. Then add your movie style, camera lenses, even the style of Jessica Drassin, the style of Hannah Faith Yatta, whatever you like, and you will get something like this. Now, I want the same dress to be pink. Just I added the pink instead of red. And look, this is wonderful. This is amazing. And let's see, I put low angle shot. And see, this is a low angle shot. The beautiful blonde woman in a pink gown posing. Got a gold 400, the Ari, the Jessica Drossen, and make sure you put the style of the right person. This is very important. If you don't know the style of anybody, it's easy. Go to my Pinterest account, click on Mid Journey, click on Artist. These are the Mid Journey prompt based on the best artist, guys. So see what kind of a style you like. Maybe this one, maybe this one. Add it to your prompt, and trust me, you will be surprised by the results. Let's try something else. Now, let me explain this prompt. A very beautiful blonde woman in a tan colored thin lace gown posing, low angle shots in a style of Jessica Drossen, Hannah Face Yatta, sexy and dreamy, looks like Coley Grace Moritz. I wanted to be look like her. So, if you put looks like somebody is very, very important as well. So. We added this style and we tell the mid journey to be look like someone. And let's see what we get. Look at it. It's very beautiful. It's very similar. And this is exactly what we are looking for. For your project, use four image links and create a beautiful image based on a famous movie and artist with the help of ChatGPT formula or Bart Google. It's going to be totally your idea. Now let's try some artistic photography in Midjourney. This is going to be our prompt. I love this image and I have the reference link here. I want to add close up and I want to be look like Marinda Kerr. So I'm saying Marinda Kerr behind a window in a rainy moon. And I explain, I describe the same reference image behind a window in a rainy mood. Then I will get something like this, guys. So the tip is make sure you describe your reference image to me, Jenny. Let's try something else. And I'm just going to say a beautiful woman has stripes of light. I love this lighting. I love this stripes of light. But I want it to be shadow and I want to be silhouette. And this is what's going to happen. So when you mention the silhouette, make sure you understand the photo should be black. 
and the strip of light should be the same as the reference image. These are some tips that you guys should use in your prompt. Now let's try another one. I specifically want something like this. Light amber hue. The light is very important to me. I'm using this lens because it's a very wide lens. And Helen and Nope is a famous artist and painter. Let's see what we get. We get something like this. Or you can go to my Pinterest mid-journey prompt and look for the artist that is creating something like this. Put your prompt and mention in a style of that person to get exactly something like this. Now, let's try the impossible. I have a reference image of this photograph. I want to create something exactly like this. Is it possible? Let's see if we can create this. My first try was give it the reference image, say a girl wearing a thin glasses with both hands holding the top of the black tetanac. I didn't get it. Then I tried a girl wearing a black tetanac and pulled the sheer color up to under his nose with a thin glasses on her face. Didn't work out. A girl with black turtleneck shirt up to under his eyes with both hands pulling up the shirt. We only can see her eyes, glasses on her face. I still I didn't get it. Finally, after trying so many times, I got something like this. So most of the time, it's going to give you something very similar. Not exactly what you're looking for, especially when you have very complicated image like this. Here is a collection of style, subject, features, genre, mood, perspective, technique, for example, HD, focus tracking, panning, double exposure that you can add to your prompt, lighting, post-processing like color balance, contrast sharpening, noise reduction format, depth of field, shallow, bokeh, focal length, time of the day, motion, you want to be blurry, you want to be long exposure, location, urban, rural, Material texture, you want to be material rough. It's like a guy walking on a sand, on a shiny surface. Theme, love, adventure. Camera setting, formatting, color scheme. You want your photograph be monochromatic, it means one color. And these are some prompt ideas which I'm adding for you guys here. So you guys can go through this to find out how I got these images. The main part here is 1999 film attesting. Or this one. If you want to portray a full shot like a fashion photograph, you can say moving exposure. You see, the dress is moving. Boho fashion, solar punk. And this is the camera. Photography by Annie Lebovitz. It's very famous. Laura Jade is very famous. I use both of them, full focus, low angle shots. I also put medium shots, cinematic lighting to get exactly something like this. Now let's try this one. A pretty young woman in a white dress on the beach at the sunset. In the style of soft focus realism, light bronze and amber. And you will get something like this, guys. So go through this prompt and trust me. You will be amazed by the results. I quickly I go to some of my prompting. So you guys have access to all of these prompts. This is very interesting. You also can put your image to get exactly something like this. As you can see, they are beautiful guys. I just put Megan Fox and some details. I got something like this. As you can see, they are beautiful and you have all the prompts here. This is a very long prompt which I got from ChatGPT. So most of the prompt is created by ChatGPT. And here I wanted a guy full body with just a white t-shirt. The same one with a woman with a white t-shirt.
very close up and like a portrait of a mom and a baby very cinematic look very romantic scene like a fashion photograph and this is very cool a laughing Will Smith catching a tennis ball on the water and they are amazing guys so make sure to go through all of these prompts and trust me you will have a lot of fun creating these amazing photographs